Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Minecraft. You guys, you guys ready to learn about some castles and about some walls? Because this is a learning episode, and we're gonna get, we're gonna get learned. We're gonna get learned. Anyways, guys, uh, welcome. Uh, if you haven't been to my live streams lately, you probably don't know what all this nonsense and mess around here is. Uh, this is my attempt, and that's uh, the first thing we're going to talk about over there. This is my attempt to organize this build a little bit. The yellows being roads, and this is not final at all. Um, I, I, I need to do some research on proper like town layout before I decide on these roads. But the red are walls. Um, over here, we have a small farm for wool. You know, that's all we can do this stuff. Uh, over here, we built a uh, we built this on stream, a uh, wheat farm, because uh, I showed you last time that one of my house designs will have wheat in the roof, not entirely wheat, but mixed with birch, uh, both of which I have retextured to complement each other a little bit better. But with that said, let's go on over here and show you the first thing that I've done. Now, I've done quite a bit of terraforming. Pretty much all, this was a mountain, not not a huge run, it was a hill, but I did knock it away. And there's still more, more work to be done. I think we can work with the rolling of the town or the rolling of the hills a little bit with the town, but I, I don't want like uh, one house up on a tiny little hill or something. I want it to be like realistic rolling. Um, like like big hills would like real real hills don't go up and down within uh what would that be like 40 meters they don't they don't do that <laughs> so um, i'm trying to fix that get a more gradual curve but this is the first thing that we built so i have a few things a few things to talk about with walls so uh this is just one side now every side or both sides are going to be done, and then there's going to be a walkway up there. Um, I found out walls aren't... This is pretty resource intensive, but these aren't that bad, actually. Excuse me while I suppress a burp. Um, if you go and... Uh, uh, what I've been doing is... And I got these vines for uh, mossy brick. We're going to mix that into this. But it's like... So there's... I do this in stages. So there's like three spots between all these. I'll go like... Uh, there will be a pillar there, one, two, three, a pillar there, one, two, three, pillar, and I'll just do that, um, and then I'll, you know, create the pillar, and then I'll move on to an, another, like, stage of the build, and it, it makes it go by really fast, I think, instead of having to think of what you're doing, you just pick something, pick a detail to do, such as you do those pillars, and I do, like, the stairs at the bottom, and I do this row of cobblestone, then these stairs, and then this slab of stone and andesite. Um, it really organizes the whole process quite a bit. But let's go on up. Um, I want this. I want this wall to be functional. Um, we're gonna build a tower, by the way, right here, and that's what I'm gonna work on this episode. But. And I've, I've got a really good design for it, too. I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to talk a lot about about how that's actually functional and whatnot. But, um, so first of all, I gave this guy a shout-out last episode. If you want to know anything about uh, medieval cities, castles, um, proper castle defense, that sort of stuff, go to Shadiversity, Shadiversity, link below. Um, dude taught me everything that I know now, or you're, you're just, you can't not learn when you go to him. Um, so number one, uh, I thought this was a nice, cool detail. These pil parts of the pillars that come out forward more, um, I used for, it, it almost works out like a little hiding spot. So, you know, there'll be a walkway right here and then you can duck into this little, uh, you know, normally these are called crenulations these up and down things and you can like hide behind behind this dealio and then uh you know peek out shoot someone over there or you can like duck into here get a little bit better of an angle shoot over there i thought that was pretty cool um pretty happy with how that works out um 
as far as functionality. Another thing is, let's just go ahead and pull this out so we can demonstrate this. I thought of this myself. Now I'm not using much wood in this build for the castle. The town will have a lot more wood in it, but this, I didn't have much wood in it because you, you don't want a wall that can be burnt down or you don't want, you can use some wood. So like my tower that I'm gonna build, I think we'll have some wood in it, but not in anything that's crucial to the structure of it. So if they were to light it on fire, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I, I really like having wood right here. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna work out actually. Um, okay, well, this was the original plan like this. Um, so these are like flaps that you can hide behind or like doors that, you know, you can like, oops, didn't mean to do that. You're like, uh, you want extra cover maybe and you pull these up and then they can't see you at all. Or you want to ambush them like you know somebody's coming to get you or coming to like raid your castle and you hide behind these and then you lower them and you all shoot out there when they're at your wall. Um, gonna have to, with this one, hmm. Maybe just like one of these deals. Uh, wait. Hmm. Okay, like that. And that, I guess. There's no other. I mean, that, that looks fine to me, right? Yeah, let's just keep that up. Um, and then I think it's a really cool detail if you uh, leave some of them up and some of them, like most of them down and a few of them up. I'll show you. It'll give a nice cool effect when you're down below. I didn't mean to do that again. When you're down below. So if we get down there, and this isn't done, obviously. Um, actually, let's leave that down. Like I said, I want most of them to be down. I just want enough of them to be up so you get the idea that they can be raised. See, not only does it add a little bit of color to the top on top of a very, um, you know, one tone build, uh, it adds adds a little bit of interest to an otherwise very repetitive wall. That's another thing about castles. They are very simple and repetitive uh, naturally. A real castle would just be pretty much a flat wall of stone. It won't be this ornamental. Um, that just doesn't look that good in Minecraft. So we went the like more exaggerated route while still trying to keep it functional from a realistic approach. Um, but our our tower here, I've like really worked out like how I would want it to look if it were really functional. So. I think I'm going to start building that. I'm just thinking there's going to be a gatehouse right around here going on over the uh, side of the... T this is like a natural moat. This river is great. It goes right around our boundaries pretty much. Um, but there's going to be a gatehouse right around here. And I kind of want... I don't want like a 45 degree wall because I, I think that would be hard to make look well, uh, look good. So I think I need to figure out a way to bring this out like this and then this tower is probably going to end up being more around here if i had to guess because if i have it here it's going to have to cut across at more of a 45 degree angle and yeah that, that would be a tougher challenge and maybe we would lose some of the columns the detail in the columns if we do that um but it's about night time and i'm gonna go do a little bit of building that's a really nice wall right there. Actually, it looks really ugly from this side because I've, I've only done one half of it, but uh, that's the good part that I want to show. So let's start over here. So there's going to be a gatehouse over here. Um, probably the main entrance to the city because all of our builds that we've done so far are in that direction to some extent. Some like over there, some there, some over there. It's all in this direction. So I think that the main entrance to the city should be right here. And I was thinking that, you know, I, d I don't want to like run with the terrain on this. I want it to be very well industrialized. 
but I really like how this is raised up. I think it would make a really cool road going up here. Um, anyways, uh, I, I made it. I made a thing. Let's go look at it. Ugh, I keep bumping the microphone with my hat. <laughs> it's like I've switched it so it's uh, like hanging down, so it's like overhead. So if I sound upside down, that's why. Uh, wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, I've, I've, what the heck? What the heck, dude? It is daytime. Get out of here. Uh, the wall. The wall is a little like attention grabby right now like i don't want the wall to be the focal point i don't it's pretty ornamental um i think that when we add a big gate it will not that will be bigger than than the wall so that will take the attention away from the actual wall um and the tower helps take away from the wall as well but right now the wall is like a little too much for me. I think we can fix this so when we add more and when we work on the oh I'm still in creative. Well that's okay. We're we're done building for now, so we'll we'll stay in creative. Uh the another thing that I want is something about towers before we go over them and look at it is they serve more than just a, a function as you know defense to the ground and an overlook. They also prevent you from if if I were to have like a siege tower, um, and I rolled it up here or something, or a big ladder, and I were to climb up there and get onto this section of, of the wall, um, towers prevent you from getting to another section of the wall. Um, so you could there will be like a door here and it'll be like reinforceable. But I was looking at this and this is a very large section of wall that you can freely roam on if you get up onto it i think but i don't want another tower right here so i think i'm gonna add somewhat of an outpost on top that's somewhat defensible but just not as major as a gatehouse or a tower but let's go and look at the tower and learn about towers i'm pretty happy with how f uh, functional i think this would be so the backside isn't done mostly because i don't know exactly how the backside is going to line up yet with everything else um that'll probably be uh hmm i'm trying to decide what's more important if i should you know wrap the wall all the way around or if i should uh do do the other half of it it really doesn't take that long to be honest um i did the section from here to about here and probably about an hour probably not even actually probably like 45 minutes um so if you think about it that way um, four hours, get, get our way around, maybe? I don't know. But let's look at all the things that there are to look at. So I didn't want, I think I mentioned this earlier, I didn't want any of the structural components of this to be wood because I don't want someone to be able to fire arrow at it and burn the tower down. That's why it's stone. Um, however, I added wood in places where it's not structurally important um, to add detail, just like, uh, with these flaps right here, and we could maybe find more places to do this, but I like how, how sparsely we're using it, so, um, let's just start from the bottom and show you all the things that there are to see, so, this right here, this arch is more than just an arch, this is a murder hole, to an extent, kind of like a modified murder hole, so what a murder hole is, is if you were to walk through, let's say that there was a pathway up here, um, and or this is probably a bad example, but if you were to like walk through here, um, so there's like one door here, and then you're inside, and then there's another door linked to the next section of the wall, you're stuck in here until you get through that second door. So what you could do is you could put a hole above them, and this is a murder hole. They, um, stick murderous things down it like boiling water or shoot arrows down it whatever so if someone's sieging this tower you know they're like at the base of this tower you could put boiling water down this you could put oil down it light it on fire whatever um prevent people from I, that's my favorite one because i don't think i don't know why you'd be sieging this tower when you could go to the gate so perhaps you know 
Um, there's enemies passing by here. You could surround this area in oil, light on fire. Um, maybe detrimental, I'm not sure, if, to be honest. But there's two of them. And if we go inside, this is um, you know, one of the floors mocked up. Uh, there's trap doors here, but these are arrow slits, and I think they're pretty good height. You can fire in there pretty well, but you lower these, and this is, you can see all the way through, so they're actually functional. Um, if you were to pour water, ooh, if you, can, if you pour water down, does it actually flow down it? No, because we got stairs there, so that's a disappointment. Um, here's a little roof, mostly to block sunlight, mostly for decoration, um, you don't see them at all. You can't see it. Um, doesn't block anything. So um, functional. Another arrow slit here. Um, haven't put in the, the floor. And these are like, these could close, I imagine. I don't think that there's a way to make these uh, close that way. But whatever. And then these, uh, we got, you know, our crenulations, matriculations here. Matriculations are... Um, just like murder holes, but uh, on the edge of walls built in like this. So if you were up here and you're, you know, you're, you're firing, firing, take cover, fire. I think I said this already earlier, but um, then there's people down there. You got pretty good sight right there. Um, and then the, something interesting about this build is it's not like symmetrical if you look at these corners compared to this corner um one it's because this this corner doesn't necessarily need to be as defensible um because you're not going to be defending from from stuff on the inside ideally uh if you're defending from stuff on the inside did i say this already i feel like i just live streamed like this whole build i can't remember if i said some of the stuff on on stream or if i said it in the video but if you're defending from the inside then you, you've probably screwed up <laughs> um, uh, but uh, as you can see the roof here is not symmetrical at all but it doesn't need to be i really like it i really do and it looks good like from far away i think that looks really good so next thing is Keeping in the theme of everything being functional, we got to continue and grind out this wall, uh, figure out the gate houses. Uh, the wall's going to come right around here. I might expand this a little bit because... Let's let's turn up the render. I have the render distance way down for some reason. Um, hello, load in, please. Uh, th I'm trying to decide if this is really that much room because it doesn't look like that much room when we're looking at it like this. But when you're down here and you're building houses in close proximity, it's a lot of room. So, I don't know. We might expand it a little bit. Um, then I need to figure out how we uh, plan out a city. I don't know how to plan out a city, really. But that's my next my next project. And then well, after we like plan out this area, we can start building houses. And plus, well, I don't know. This snapshot is like having a heck of a time loading stuff in. But um, we, we also got to plan out the uh, merchant area. And let's not forget, there's a castle in this build that's going to go right here. <laughs> um, I'd rather forget because that's like a whole different, like, mm, that's a lot to do. But I think I'll feel really good about myself after we finish working on this tower a little bit, or the, these walls a little bit. Um, and, you know, once we finish these walls, it will close in the area a little bit, too, because that will bring it into about here. So that will close it in even more. So I probably will bring out uh, that area. Maybe swoop this out like out here and all the way over here. I think that's a pretty good good idea. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, then leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, turn the notification on, the little bell below the video. I think it's below the video. Should be. Turn it on. Uh, you'll get notifications whenever I live stream, if that's something that you're interested in. I've been doing it a lot lately, and they're usually later at night, um, like, uh, you know, really any time in the, in the evening, uh, U.S. time. Um, I've been starting at all sorts of different times, so I can't 
can't name a specific time, but um, press the bell and you'll know. Anyways, thanks for joining, guys. Bye.